Korea improve its surveillance over illegal and unregulated fishing. Korea expressed its regrets over Brussels' decision to issue a formal warning, saying that it has been revising fishing laws and allocating necessary budgets to meet the EU's demands. Kim y o n g i l has more. The European Commission has flagged up a new round of yellow cards to Korea, Ghana and the Caribbean island of Curaçao for not meeting international obligations on curbing illegal fishing. The EU's fisheries chief said Tuesday that Korea will face trade restrictions if it doesn't make sufficient progress in improving the monitoring and control of catches. Given that the EU is the world's biggest trading bloc, experts say possible sanctions could hurt Korea's economy. Korea's fisheries ministry has expressed its displeasure with the EU's decision to put Korea on the watch list. The EU's announcement comes despite Korea's revisions of fishing regulations, which are set to go into effect on January 31st. Under the revised law on deep-sea fishing, all Korean vessels engaged in overseas fishing must be equipped with a tracking device known as a vessel monitoring system starting at the end of next July. Korea will also set up a fishing monitoring center and raise maximum fines on violators to three times the current maximum of about $4,700 U.S. dollars. This is particularly important as the fining system was a key issue raised by the EU. Korean officials say the country's new measures against illegal fishing will be enough to meet all EU criteria and have the country taken off the blacklist.